Doctors and health departments across West Michigan are reporting a higher instance of strep throat this winter. But what really shocked us is that they're also seeing a lot more scarlet fever cases, an illness that a lot of us associate, associate with olden times. But scarlet fever is alive and well, and though it may not be the fever you need to watch out for if your child comes down with strep. Yeah, I like to tell people that scarlet fever is just a strep throat that went nuts. Dr. Dan McGee from the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital tells us the only difference between strep throat and scarlet fever is a bright red rash that starts on the chest and neck and spreads from there. It happens when the germ that causes strep releases a toxin. It's really no more severe an illness than a strep throat itself. The child just looks a lot more miserable. What will make your child even more miserable, though, is if the illness is left untreated. Strep throat can turn into another disease, rheumatic fever, an inflammatory disease that can damage your child's heart. It is a serious disease, but it's also easy to avoid. If your child comes down with strep symptoms, that is, a red swollen throat, a high fever, pain while swallowing, swollen tonsils, sometimes with pus on them, see your physician right away. You can't make the diagnosis on your own, and you can't treat it on your own either. If your doctor suspects strep throat, a simple throat swab at the doctor's office can confirm the diagnosis, and antibiotics will get rid of it fairly quickly.